Hi and welcome to this video about saving your AWS cost for unattended AWS resources. And literally, this is two minutes automation task. Now, if you are following my channel, you might have seen similar video in the past, but now I have fixed a lot of problems and improved this automation so that it works seamlessly. Okay, the question is why I'm coming up with this again, because this is a holiday period for most of you. And if you just implement in your AWS account, then it can literally turn out to be a good saver. Now, personally for me, it has saved me at least 300 to 400 USD on my personal AWS account. So let's quickly see what this offers to you. So how about getting this kind of email in your inbox, which tells you how many EC2 machines are currently running in your AWS account how many unattached EBS volumes are there which you can go and delete or how many unattached Elastic IPs are there which you can go and release. Now doing this, it will definitely save you a lot of cost. And as I said, personally, I have saved around 300 to 400 USDs because I often launch these EC2 machines for the demo purpose or I try some solutions and then I forget to terminate those. And when this email pops up, I know that these instances I have kept running unintentionally. So I just go and terminate those machines. So this is very helpful and it is not difficult to implement this. What you need for this is really a Lambda function, which just fires a couple of AWS APIs to get information about your AWS resources like EC2, EBS and Elastic IPs. And then it associate cost with those resources and just wrap it into the email body and send you an email through Amazon SES service. So at the end of the day, you should get that email. Now only missing piece here is who will trigger this AWS Lambda. Now for that, you can use Amazon Event Bridge and you can have a scheduler which can trigger this Lambda at a regular interval. Now for you, what I have done is I have wrapped everything into a simple AWS CloudFormation template so that you can just deploy this template and your account is ready with this automation. And the best part of this is that this is free of cost. There is no cost to run this automation in your account. Event bridge schedules are free and Lambda invocations are also free. So there is no charge. Now, if you want to quickly deploy this, just use this link, which is also given in the description. And then it will take you to the AWS CloudFormation console and just go on you know providing the value for all those parameters and you are good to go so let me show you that quickly so i'm clicking this link and it opens aws cloud formation console now if you are not logged into your console then it will ask for username and password and then it will redirect you to this page so the stack name is pre-populated and now here i can provide which aws region i want to monitor for the running ec2 machines so typically I use North Virginia and Mumbai region. So I can put US East one, which is region code for North Virginia and AP South one for Mumbai. If you are not sure what should be the region code, then you can just go here and check corresponding region codes. So it makes sense to provide the list of the region in which you typically operate, right? Then from email, so I can say AWS with Chetan at the rate gmail.com and schedule is 19 hour every day which is seven o'clock i'm fine with that but you can change that again and ses region is the region from which the email will be sent now this is because ses service is not available in all aws region so i have used us east one as a default region so you can leave it as it is and again for the two email you can either use the same email or comma separated list of email ids that's it you just acknowledge this and create the stack and literally at this point, it will take just two minutes for all the resources to be deployed. So let me pause this video and come back here. Okay, so it took exactly around two minutes and you can see that it created all these resources. So at this point, I'm good to go. I don't need to do anything. The only caveat is that when the first time the Lambda function will trigger, the SES will send you an email to confirm your email ID. And then once you confirm that and your email is verified, then onwards you will get this report what you just saw in the beginning of video and which means that you might have to wait for your actual report because you have to first confirm or verify your email id so 
watch out for your email box and you know as soon as you receive the email from SES just confirm that and if everything goes as planned then after your email is verified by the SES then in the next iteration when the lambda function is triggered then you should receive an email which looks something like this now currently in my AWS account there are no AWS unattended resources and that's where you see all this cost as zero and this is a best email that you can get right and just one more thing now there is a way to do this very quickly that means you don't have to wait for 24 hours or 48 hours and I have included that as a part of a video which is part of my course and there is much more for example how do you customize this code how can you change your schedule how can you change your AWS regions after you deploy this stack so all this is explained in more detail into a separate video and for this you can just visit my course that is AWS with Chetan and AWS VPC and networking and if you just go down here there is prerequisites and under that there is this video which tells you more about how to customize this automation and this video is free to watch that means you don't have to necessarily buy this course right so that's what you can do okay so going back to our topic so to deploy this cloud formation template link is also there in the video description so you can just click that optionally you can also download the template locally and use that in the cloud formation service i have also provided the template download link in the description so i hope you are able to implement this and if you face any challenges just put your comment for this video or if you are enrolled into the course then you can also put a comment in the course video and i'll try my best to help you to resolve your problem and finally please like this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that already so that i can get your support to make more such videos and if you are interested in learning more about aws vpc and networking i highly recommend to enroll in this course where i have covered everything from basic to advanced with lots of hands on exercises now with that i wish you happy holidays and hopefully you don't have to worry about unattended aws usage anymore so thanks for watching and see you in the next video.